Hey there, Mr. Leatherwood. Today we're going to do modeling subtraction of integers using positive and negative counters. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite ones to teach. It's a little confusing at start, but I think you'll like it. Let's get started. So we're going to start with 5 minus a negative 6. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we did when we were adding. We're starting with 5, so we're going to take 5 positive counters, because that's a positive number. Do, 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 do. There we go. And we want to get rid of six negative counters. Well, the problem here is we don't have six negative counters to get rid of because we're looking at what we put out here. We can't go over here and just pull from piles. So we're just looking at the five that we currently have. So how are we going to get rid of negative six counters if we don't have them? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to use that zero pairs. So we're going to bring six negative counters over, but every time we do, put one over here, we have to add a positive one also. This is going to seem a little weird, but you'll see what's going on here in just a sec. The reason we do that is because when we add something like this, it's a zero pair. So when we're adding a zero pair, we're really not changing it. And what that means is, if you were to count everything that we have here, let me get my little pointer, this is a positive one, two, three, four, five, and then this is a zero pair, so that equals zero, plus zero, plus zero, plus zero, plus zero, plus zero. So even though it looks like we have a ton of stuff here, we really still have just our initial five. Oh, my pop, my dog's barking. But now we can take away our negative six counters because we have neg one, two, three, four, five, six negative counters. So I'm going to take those away. And to do that, I'm just going to kind of mark through them today. So I'm going to say, oh, we're going to get rid of that one. Two, three, four, five six, or we could move them off to the side or however you want to do that. If I was physically doing this, I would probably move it off to the side. And then the next next example, I can do that too. So now we're just going to count up what we have left. We have one. Oop, didn't mean to draw. Sorry. Give me a little pointer. We have one, two, three, four, five, just like before. But now we have all these positive ones left over. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So our solution ends up being 11 positive counters, okay? Little tricky, give, the, give it a second for that to set in, and we'll do one more example. So in this one, we're gonna start with negative six, and then we're gonna subtract negative three. So let's see, I'm gonna start with negative six counters, six of these negative ones. There we go, we got six. And I'm gonna take away three negative chip counters. So this right here, right? These are three negatives. I'm gonna take away three negatives. Well, in this case, I don't really have to add anything. All I have to do is take away three because I have enough to get rid of three chips. So if I wanted to, I could just drag these away. Oops, that was cool. I'm gonna grab this one, one, two, three, and that's going to leave me with this as my answer. So it looks like my answer would be three negative chips. Okay, confused yet? I hope not. hope it's making sense. I know this is a little bit trickier than the addition part. Let's try another one. Why don't you try this one? So we're starting with negative five and we're going to minus one. So pause the video, you try it, and then I'll come back on and tell you how to do it. Okay, well hopefully you paused the video and you tried it out on your own. Again, I'm going to start with negative 5. Okay, we're just starting with negative 5. So in our case, we know that that's 5 negative chips. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I want to get rid of one chip. Okay, and I'm going to get rid of one positive chip. The reason we know that is there's no parentheses here letting us know that it's a negative. So we're just getting rid of one. 
Well, here's the problem. We don't have a positive chip to get rid of. So hopefully you realized, uh-oh, I need to use a zero pair because I can't just move over a positive chip because that changes my whole problem. But I can move a zero pair. And for me, it helps me to kind of put these together. That way I'm not confused. So I started with my negative five. So one, two, three, four, five negative chips. And I wanted to get rid of one positive chip, but in order to add a positive chip to get rid of, I need to add a zero pair. That means this represents zero, so technically I still have negative five. But now I can get rid of that positive chip. So this time, oh, let's see if I can get it. Oh, it's not gonna let me grab it. Not cool, dude. All right, well, we'll just have to do it the way I did before. So we're going to get rid of that positive chip. And then we're just gonna count what's left over. One, two, three, four, five, and then don't forget the one that's left over from your zero pair. So we went farther into the negative, so our answer ends up being negative six. Okay, let's try one more and then I will let you go. All right, last one, four minus a negative five. Again, you try this one, so pause the video, see how you do, and then I'll come back and teach you how to do it. All right, so let's see how you did. We're starting off with a positive four, so I would have grabbed four chips, however you wanna do them here, we'll keep it consistent. And then I wanna get rid of five negative chips. Well, there's a problem. I need negative chips to get rid of. First of all, I need some more of these, don't I? There we go. All right, let's try this again. So I'm gonna get rid of five negative chips. Well, again, I can add five negative chips to get rid of as long as I do zero pairs. So if I add those, I also have to add these because I'm not changing my value if I'm adding a bunch of zeros. And again, you don't have to do this, but for me, it just kind of helps me realize that, hey, I just added these as zero pairs. Okay, now can I get rid of five negative chips? Well, yeah, I have negative chips to get rid of now. So I'm gonna mark through these negative chips because I'm getting rid of those five negative chips. And then I'm just gonna count what we have left. Well, we got a bunch of positives here. So one, two, three, four, which was our original one. And then we have one, two, three, four, five more. So we're gonna end up getting to a positive nine. Okay, and we're gonna, this the chip counters I really like using zero pairs. I like it a little bit better than number lines, but we will look at number lines too, and maybe some of y'all, that'll be your better way of getting it. Um, all right, we'll see you next time.